few weeks ago, listen, we need top fives. We don't got much going on this summer, so everybody needs to do their top five quarterbacks in the NFL, their top five hot seats in the NFL, their top five passing duos in the NFL, their top five MVPs in the NFL, their top five other quarterbacks in the NFL, their top five guys they don't like as quarterback, but our quarterbacks in the NFL. And you're like, ah, to hell with all of that. So we have done our own top fives here at 97.9. Hartford and also uh, 1300 ESPN New Haven, we have gotten you the top five Kirk Kaplan's summer backyard games. We have given you the top five Kirk Kaplan cartoon dogs. When you were gone, Dibs, we gave you the top five Nicholas Federico's UConn basketball summer league players, which, by the way, Adama Sonogo ended up winning that title. Then on, what was it, Friday, Bob Joyce gave us the top five UConn women's basketball players who are currently in the WNBA. Brianna Stewart won that. But Nafisa Collier got second, which was surprising. Today, we are bringing you the top Top five people in sports Kurt Kaplan wants to have a beer with. Yes! Now, there are so many you could choose from, and typically, you know, this is how people choose their politicians, is who you want to have a beer with more than what is actually in the substance of their message. And I don't know if this is based upon the substance of the person, Kurt, how attractive they are, how cool of a dude or dudette they are, what, do you have a criteria of how I'm you put I'm all this? over the road. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I've got a reason for everybody, but it's not the same reason for everybody. Awesome. And one's better than the next. Let's go to it right now with number five. Let's start with number five, but this might be my number one best idea. <laughs> what? How so? Okay. The person is Ben Simmons. Okay, Ben Simmons. The basketball the player? Basketball yeah. player, yeah. Because I can help you out. Oh, okay. I'm so. going to sit down. You're going to shut up and listen. <laughs> and I'm going to yell at you for like an hour and a half. <laughs> and we're going to do shots and hand to have beers. And you're going to listen. You're going to understand that 99% of the world would love to be in the spot that you are in. You're going to understand that you are blowing these opportunities that the world would love to be in. And, and you're going to realize that after my brilliance... For 45 to 90 minutes. I can't wait for the top four. I think regardless <laughs> <laughs> I think regardless of how he plays after that meeting, you are going to at least get that off your chest. Yes. And you <laughs> will feel better about Ben Simmons, but maybe not Ben Simmons hey, feeling takes, better about Ben Simmons. If he takes my brilliant advice, then he'll be the better for it. So you're helping out not only Ben Simmons, Philadelphia, or what is it, no, Brooklyn? New York. Brooklyn? So yeah. Is he still there? He's with the For Nets. the time being. Okay. That cup of coffee is still percolating. Australia, uh, LSU. You're helping out a lot of people with this one. So thank you, Kurt. All right. Number four. Number four is a little different flavor. Tony Stewart. Mm. You know, I love my yeah, race and I right. love going left. Smoke himself. But he can actually, you know, he can run the road courses as well. He's a hell of a driver. Now, why Tony? There's a lot of great drivers yes. out there, Kurt. You have loved so many from your childhood to today. Why Tony Stewart? The versatility of what he can drive. He can drive... He can drive the NASCAR Modifieds locally. They're on they're on the bias ply tire, which is like a forty year old kind of uh, thinking when you're talking technology and tires. So, he can drive the dirt tracks. He can drive the sprints on the dirt. He can drive those SRX cars pretty damn well on the dirt. And he might be listening right now, so he'll buy me a beer because <laughs> the SRX is going to be back at Stafford this week. So he might be listening. Nice. Give us a call. Uh, what are we, 860-522-3776. But Tony, only if you're call. Tony Stewart. Right. right. The Tony Stewart. Got a lot of other Tonys out there that listen. It could be another Tony Stewart. Number three. Number three. Danica Patrick. Wow. wow. All right. I like this one. I would definitely join you for this beer. Yeah. Right. What? I'm just doing racing. We're just talking racing. Why else do you think I'd... Well, oh. she's very attractive. And, oh, right. Yeah, I forgot about that. I think but she's a right. brilliant she woman. Uh, she's hilarious. Um, and I, you know what? She's and I'm feisty. Short. Yeah. I'm short. I, I like short girls. And honestly, out of everyone that you've mentioned so far, I think she'd have your back in a fight more than Tony Stewart or, of course, Ben Simmons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to probably do more damage than Ben Simmons would. Awesome. Any particular questions, any conversation that you want to get from Danica Patrick? Uh, I think I would lead with, how you doing? 
Hey, how you doing? Um, hit you, hit you over the head with a beer bottle. Then you'd ask about Aaron Rodgers. What were you thinking? What man? a jerk. Man, come oh, yeah. on, honey. We've what all made mistakes. Now? That's right. Come on. Pencils have erasers. Come on now. Another beer bottle. At least you got out of it. Good job. <laughs> Number two. Number two. Lewis Hamilton. Whoa. Love three race Hamilton. Hamilton. That, that's champion. That's great. Yep. I and do why? Love Lewis. Yeah, why? Because he'll pick up the tab because he made $35 million last year driving a race car. I thought you were going to say pick up the chicks. Ladies love this dude. Yeah, and he probably could use a friend right now because Shakira's hooking up with Jimmy Butler after him. Whoa, so, you know, I mean, that's he could right. use a, He could use a buddy. I'm a good buddy. Wow. She, like, <laughs> she improved by a foot. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he's like a foot taller than Lewis Hamilton. By the way, that dude learned how to drive on a computer. And then started driving real cars after he's that. Amazing. I mean, he is amazing. He's amazing. Love that dude. That's I, a great pick. Out of all those people, he three would, racers so far. Yeah, not surprised. He would up your status too. By the way, at whatever bar you would be going to, Lewis Hamilton. He just he's can I a can I guess act. your final one? Go for it. Dale Earnhardt Sr. Uh, well, I was going with everybody living. Oh, you could go with dead people. I okay. was going with everybody right, living. You're going with everybody living. <laughs> Number one. Because these all might happen. You know, right, right. It, it can just happen. You know, my fame from before when I used to work at the Worldwide Leader. Exactly. You know, yeah, yeah. The rock star status that you see before you. <laughs> Number one. Number one is I'm just listening to my 10 year old self, Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, I, was I can make hockey. that happen. Let's do it. Let's do it. I can do your number one. What would you? What would that be like sitting I'm there tell with you right now? He's the best. He's the best. But yeah. I would talk to him about that 10-hour uh, documentary that I saw on the the Canadian Broadcasting Company put it together. And it's brilliant. It is in-depth on hockey. The history of the game. They call it our game. It, it's a beautiful thing. I just talked to him for that for like three hours. Of, of all the names I can drop on you, the people that I've met along my journey, he's one of the best. Why do you got, say that? I, I get to coach his son for a couple of years. I, I did yoga with him. Boring. He's not, though. He's he, he here's what he isn't. He isn't talking about himself all the time ever. He's talking about everything around him, every other everybody else, his wife, his kids, everybody. He'd be talking about Dustin Johnson and Paulina. He's not talking about Wayne because Wayne's happy with Wayne. You know, he's he's not an egomaniac. So that's why I liked Wayne Gretzky. Plus, this this dude loves baseball. Wanted to be a major league baseball player. Would you want to watch a hockey game or a baseball game with Wayne Gretzky I would, while you're I, you, at the you'd bar? You'd be better going to a Red Sox game Awesome with Wayne. That'd be cool. Yep. That would be cool. I did have Dale Jr. down as, as a honorable mention because I think I could help out his podcast. Let's just... <laughs> <laughs> he's a, he's another cool guy. I get, about I get everybody to judge else. a Hooters contest with Dale Jr. <laughs> no way! Yeah. No way. Yeah, and we had to kick Vince Neal to the curb. He was too wasted. What are you judging? Chicken wings? No, the Hooters oh, girls. Wow. 100, 127 <laughs> countries, bro. Come on, man. Paul Bissonette was also on that list. Because oh, I think he's cool. You know, just from this year's hockey playoffs alone, I yeah. think he's awesome. Nice. I agree. It's weird. With- hockey and racing with you, huh? Yeah. Damn right. Course. No, no musicians. I I'm blown away lane. by that. Yeah, I thought you would be like a sports yeah, like, musician. They're all going to be better than me. <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah, but I mean, listen, I, if if I was doing a top five, Neil Pert would be in it. You know, from Rush, one of my all time favorite drummers. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd probably be more about non athletes. A lot of great musicians are terrible conversationalists. <laughs> Yeah, but here's the thing I liked about him because I, I when I met him at a show in Cincinnati, um, they owned minor league teams, all of them. They they loved minor, minor league baseball. But uh, after every gig, he got on like a 10-speed a bike with a bunch of the crew, and they rode around the town. They were He was a huge bike enthusiast. Then he ended up getting into motorcycles and riding around the world before he passed away. But um, fabulous people. So many of these are fabulous people. I'm just I thinking. agree with every one of them except for Ben Simmons. I, I, he, even though you could yell at him for an hour and a half, I don't think you're getting into that guy's skull. I really don't. Even after a couple of Fosters? They, by the way, Australians don't really drink Fosters. Yeah, ben Simmons like really isn't Australian. No, exactly. <laughs> so. Not really a basketball player. I mean, uh, <laughs> There you go. You know, there is a 99 beer, number 99 premium lager. It's Wayne Gretzky's own. I can't wait to get my hands on a Paul O'Neill. <laughs> I want to get my. Does name. Paul drink beer? 
Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. So you see, that was the thing. Paul, oh, my God, well, I'm going to date myself. Paul loved a Michelob. Yeah. That was, Paul, that was Paul's beer. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll go out and have a Michelob. That's interesting. He was never a heavy drinker, though. Never heavy in, in anything but being in shape. In baseball. Yeah. Sickening. Heavy into Just baseball. Sickening human. I like your list, Kurt. You did it again. I think it was great. Bravo. Bravo. What would be your number one person? Especially now. They could be dead, though. Now living, back when I was a kid, full circle. What he's doing right now, super interesting, especially after the pandemic. My man, Andre, the Hawk, Dawson. Caretaker, Undertaker. Oh my Andre. God! I could set that up easy as pie. He's down in Tampa right now, putting bodies. I'll into tell the you earth. what, this guy's honest truth. You get a couple of pops in that that that, exactly. that dude. He's talking. Yeah, you can't shut him up. I got a lot of questions. Like Gary Sheffield and I, we went out with him a lot the year I was with the Marlins, and would be like, "Who is this guy?" <laughs> <laughs> he was he was like Red Fox. No way. He was, after a couple of drinks, he was like Red Fox, and it was like, how do you turn this dude off? So yeah, no, Andre Dawson, one of the one of the nicest men I've ever met. Who's your number one in sports? Oh, in sports, dead Jackie Robinson, alive, alive. Reg, I've I've had beers with Reg. Um, what beer is Reggie drinking? I, it, I think he was. I don't even think he was drinking beer. You're drinking. He's just sipping water. No, I, I think stories. it might have been like Remy Martin or something like that. Of course. Um, He's, he's, he, and uh, honestly, he's one of the coolest humans on the planet. Um, that's a tough one. Hulk Hogan. I was thinking pro wrestling lately. Too, man. <laughs> I, I, I just watched this whole thing with Hulk Hogan, and you were talking about the Macho Man. I mean, I, macho Man, obviously, you know, he was a big Reds guy and, and huge with uh, Marty and Joe. He used yeah. to come to a lot of Reds games, but he wouldn't come in the locker room. He was like the kind, he was such a sweet guy that he he felt he was intruding. There's so many people that are like that. Mr. Sanctuary, man. I want to miss your sanctuary. I don't want to mess it up. Come on, man. Mike, give your case a Slim Jim. Macho man. man. Stay outside. I'm here when you're ready for it. Marge used to always try to kick him out of the stadium, too. Why? Because she was Marge. Does she know who he is? She was afraid of the pythons. No, no, not Hulk. Yeah. I'm talking uh, Macho. Macho Man. Um, but no, Hulk Hogan, I used to work out at the same gym with him with a bunch of my teammates when I played for Tampa, the Tampa Tarpons. And I've never seen a human other than Shaq that size. Yeah. Like that width. That, like a that proportional just, person. Like you're looking <laughs> at like, that's a girl, that's a man. That's that's a man, and then then I you know saw like him in in Rocky Two, Hawkster's Thunder been there, Lips. Done that. Been there, done that, man. Yeah, been there, done that. He's had a hell of a journey. That dude's had a hell of a journey. Still going. All right, give me another one. Sports. <sighs> All timers. Larry Bird. Larry's not that interesting of a hey, conversation. You never know. I think I don't think he wants to give anything up. I'd love to hang out with MJ, man. I'd love to hang out with MJ. M- you're gonna MJ get. You're boat. gonna get. You, you two gambling situation. Ooh, I'd be losing a lot of money. That's right. That's right. Those those I guys. I got a feeling I could beat you in horse today. <laughs> fifty on it. A hundred. Yeah, fifty. Fifty grand. <laughs> Half a million. I mean, I, I, some of the stuff those dudes have done is legendary.